welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode Hello, 681. Thank Dr. you so much Kavitko. for joining this me. Is episode 681. This is going to be my final show to be Thank broadcast so over the me. airwaves. This so is going I'm going to gonna make, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Over the We're going to open up the phone so lines and you can make, call in with questions, comments. If you want to say goodbye or say hello for the, like for the first time, whatever you'd like. If you'd like a dental question answered, you can do that as well. We're still going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day in about 10 minutes and you'll have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Flores. But I'll give you the number because it's 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. And that line is going to be open all show long, so if you have a question or you just want to make a comment, uh, feel free to call in. I'll get you on the air, okay? Before we get started, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. And if, also, please, all past Facebook episodes complete with video awesome. are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. We're also streaming live on Facebook. And after today, uh, you'll be able to find uh, some future on shows on Facebook and, and today, YouTube and TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Because I'm probably going to be doing some shows uh, in the form of a podcast, except I won't have to drive through six feet of snow to get here every Sunday morning. Actually, I'll be able to sleep in a little bit. So... Actually, I'll, I'll remember that, uh, 614-459-9769. So, remember that, uh, 614 459 So, because it's been, it's been a long time, 681 so, shows is a lot of shows, and by the way, I did the math, and, um, uh, that is 13 years, exactly. And, um, so we did 13 uh, years worth of shows, non-stop. Years. I think in all of that time, so I may have run one rerun non-stop. because I was I sick and my wife time, uh, called the station and said he can't come in. I would have come, but uh, and tried anyway, but he kind of stepped in. So, for those of you that listened to all 681 shows, I want to apologize for boring you all those shows, days and mornings. Uh, I want to apologize. But uh, to my wife, Carrie, and my mom, <laughs> for boring you mother-in-law, all those days um, and Donna, I want to thank you guys wife, for uh, mom, putting up with 681 uh, shows Donna, and listening to every one of them. For, uh, I've joked often about how I have uh, at least two listeners that I'm aware of. That would be my wife and my mother-in-law. I have uh, at least two listeners. And uh, they've been very, very that loyal. Would be my wife and my mother-in-law. Now I wanted to. I want to explain uh, and, uh, why I started very, very to do the show in the first now, place. I wanted to. I want to explain. Uh, some of you know. Why I started. Some of you don't. So the reason I want I did the show in the first place. Some of you is think back about well, thirteen years, maybe think back longer. Think back. Twenty, thirty, about, whatever. Well, thirteen years, maybe. There think wasn't dentistry and dentists in general. There was has not uh, been or had not been represented in the in, uh, in the media or in Hollywood in a very positive way. Essentially, if a dentist a or a dental way. office okay. or a dental topic for that matter was on the evening news, it's because the dentist had or dental topic for that matter killed somebody or mistreated somebody. No, killed somebody. And if a dentist was portrayed in Hollywood, whether that be on television or in a movie. Hollywood, they pretty much were a bumbling idiot or had killed somebody. In a movie, so, for example, Jennifer Aniston played a dentist in a movie called Horrible Bosses, so example, and uh, I think she Aniston killed somebody. A in a movie and then you had the Bob Newhart show and, uh, where, uh, you know, he was a, like a psychologist and then you had down the hall, the was a dentist, and it was a kind of a crazy uh, guy. Like a and so, you know, there's never been DDS 911. There's never been... A show DDS that highlighted a dentist or dentistry. There's and never yet been we do a lot of great things for people, and we change lives, and we're dedicated. I think doing 13 years worth of shows shows how dedicated I am. 
And I so I don't, I'm not saying there's ever going to be a show like that. I'm just saying and that so um, I don't, I'm Hollywood not and the media be a show has like never that. really properly that, um, represented Hollywood dentists and, and dentistry. Never really and of course, and that's in my opinion. Dentists now, and dentistry. Um, and of course, and that's so in my opinion. Now, I thought about it um, and I thought, you know, it's so changed. Uh, oh, the other thing I thought about it, that I wanted to point thought, out is know, that. There's never changed. been, uh, uh, there the never used to be, I'm sorry, to little kids growing up wanting to be dentists. Been, uh, it was just unheard of. Used to be, little sorry. kids grew up wanting to be doctors, and then when they got to that age and maybe had trouble getting into med school, they decided they wanted to be a dentist. So it was always like an alternative, at least for a lot of years. It wasn't for me, and in fact, luckily, back then, in 19, let's see, I applied in 1976, the dental schools had figured that out. If they knew that you had applied to, dental schools had figured that out. Medical school. If they knew that you had, and they found that to, out um, right during uh, your interview, school? they would cancel it because they, they decided they wanted people who wanted right to be dentists, not wanted to be, dentist, wanted to be a dentist because they couldn't be a doctor. People who wanted to be. I will tell you that there are a lot of physicians who wish they'd become dentists because the thing things have kind of flip flop, and I really feel like we dentists have it better. Things have kind of We do a lot of great things for our patients. We're actually hands on. Yeah, you know, my physician, and I love him to death, I don't think I've ever, ever seen you know, him do a procedure. My physician, he and just, I love uh, death, you know, the nurse takes my blood pressure, whatever vitals they want, blood work, whatever, uh, and then he just kind of comes in and talks and, you know, palpates this and palpates that. And if I need something, he sends me somewhere else. Well, not the case in at least the way I do my dentistry and have done it all these years. Well, not the case in at least the way I do my dentistry and with that said, I thought, you know what? Maybe so, it's time. It's okay uh, to not said, do the show anymore because thought, now you, you do have what? kids Maybe growing up wanting to be dentists. Okay to not do the show anymore I've had a lot of people shadow me over time who came in uh, thinking I wanted to check out what would it be like to be a dentist. Time. And uh, many of them went on to uh, uh, get into dental be school and become dentists. So it's been uh, very rewarding to, uh, in that regard. Uh, get into it's really dental cool. And become dentists. So it's been very the other reason why I thought that, that maybe now would be really a good cool. time is because 13 years, lucky 13, guess what? I graduated from dental school on Friday the 13th, 1980. And I've always thought of Friday the 13th as my lucky day. And so I don't get worried about when Friday falls on the 13th. And but so I, I also thought, you know what, that's kind of like, uh, I'm not, I don't know that I'm superstitious, but I think I these kinds of things are cool. And so I thought, this is 13 years to the day. And so this makes a perfect opportunity or a perfect time for me to say, you know what, and so this, this might be the last time to do the uh, over the air broadcast. So. I love you guys to, to death. The, uh, uh, thank you, everybody, for so, tuning in all of these I years. I do appreciate it. I would thank not have done it if I hadn't had the feedback in all of these years. Uh, that I'm, uh, I would not I'm getting both on Facebook and, you know, I get emails. Uh, in fact, we have a gentleman, uh, Richard, who's uh, watching on Facebook, who just said, oh, no. <laughs> so thank you, Richard. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not completely going away, but it's going to be a little different. And I don't know how many people watch podcasts or check them out, but... And reasons we smile dot com will be the place to go for that. Check them out, but, uh, okay, so back in um, for that. in two thousand and eight when I started okay, this so show, back in uh, it was in two thousand and eight um, when I started this show. My kids, I have four it children. Was, my kids were ages um, 26, 24, 22, kids, and twenty. I have four children. My kids none of them were married yet. And so none of my grandchildren were born yet. None of them starting were to think yet. back about all of the and things so that happened in the last 13 years. Starting to think it's back really uh, all of the things kind of amazing. In the last and Richard just wrote that he said, we will miss you. And really, I, I appreciate that too, Richard. Thank you, Richard you so much. Richard just wrote that he said, um, we will miss you. And, and I, so, I appreciate that too, Richard. Thank you, you so know, much. The, in, in um, 2008, so, that's when uh, George W. Bush was president, but he would soon be replaced by Barack Obama. Cyclone Nargis killed 138,000 people in Myanmar. I forgot about that. Summer Olympics were held in Beijing. China. Summer Olympics Terrorist attacks, were in, Mumbai, attacks in Mumbai, India China. occurred, and Lehman Brothers Terrorist went bankrupt following the subprime mortgage crisis. So that's a little bit of a time capsule of 2008. And so, you know, think about that. It's been a long time. We hadn't uh, so, even thought of uh, coronavirus you know, yet. Think about that. It's been a long time. <laughs> the uh, World Trade uh, Center uh, disaster hadn't yet. happened yet. A lot of things hadn't happened <laughs> the, uh, yet. The World Trade Center. And I'm still as passionate as ever about dentistry, though. And I love what I do. And I'm still as passionate as ever about dentistry. And so, you know what? If you miss me on the air, you might want to consider coming in and saying hello and maybe becoming a patient. 614-262-9588. And then the other thing I mentioned a few shows ago is my wife and I opened 
opened a and then the other thing I uh, an Airbnb. Uh, we call it the Mad Cat uh, Inn. So you could uh, always book a, book a weekend or so at in. that, and we'll so get to see you, you uh, in person, book actually. A, book a weekend or so at that. Okay, so and I am still going to be doing uh, Dr. Vickers' question of the day, like we said. Okay, so and, I am um, still going to be doing. And Dr. so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that now. Now you might remember the number I gave out earlier. It was six one four four five nine ninety seven sixty nine. It That's still the number. Before we do the, uh, before we're, when we come back, I'm going to give you the question. The but before we do the contest, we, we need it, you to uh, listen to this. This back, station will not be held liable for any contesting during the reasons we smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household. Prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, and you know what we're going to do today? We've always loved to have new callers, but right. if we don't have and a new caller you know and you've won today, recently, that's going to be okay to today. Callers, It'll be like a one-time pass, okay? Recently, so the, the number, the uh, question of the day is, pass, okay? so I've decided that today will be so, my last the show number, broadcast the, uh, over the airwaves, is, including so today, how today many shows have I done and how many years have I been doing the show? Including today, Is it A, 156 shows over three years? B, 364 shows over seven years? C, 520 B, shows over 10 shows years, over seven or D, 681 C, shows over 13 over years. years. All right, the winner's going to receive D, free flowers from DeSantis Flores. They'll be delivered years. to your place right. of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. There's nothing else in the world tonight She said people don't take the time Hey, people don't take the time Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model I got a question for you Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either But I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavitko on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most compassionate dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Are you tired of hearing what every business is doing to keep you safe? Well, me too, because they're all saying the same thing. Wearing masks, washing your hands often, and social distancing are the keys to keeping us healthy, and all businesses are doing that. But here at Dr. Kavitko & Associates, we do that and more. We have continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units inside our office that kill over 93% of the coronavirus and other pathogens. I bet you can't name another dental office that does that. Give us a call at 614-262-9588 or go to drkavitko.com. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko & Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavitko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today. 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have Randy, Randy okay, with an I, on the phone. Hi, Randy. How are you? We have Randy, Randy with an I, on the phone. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you? you for listening and for calling in. Do you know the answer to Dr. Kavitko's I'm question good, of the good. day? Thank the last one. And for calling in. The very you know the last one. Yeah. D. D. Six hundred eighty-one shows, thirteen years. 
Thank you. Years. <laughs> shows. Have you listened years. to uh, thank you. many shows? Oh, very much so. Enjoy everyone. Have you listened to uh, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Shows. I appreciate that. Uh, we really want to get to those flowers, oh, well, so please you. stay thank on the you. line. Sometimes my uh, producer really asks to, to be able to call flowers, you back so because he doesn't want to be heard on the air, but Sometimes if he can whisper loud enough for you to hear him, he will get that information now, okay? Thank you. And I wish you very well. Well, thank you very much. And I'm sure you'll well, just you enjoy life better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sleeping in on Sundays a little bit. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going completely away. Well, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. It was really fun today. I mean, uh, I'm not it was almost like we were away. skiing in the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was uh, the really car fun seemed today. to want to do whatever I mean, it did. It like uh, my wife would not have wanted to be with me in the car this morning. I'm sure they'll have it cleared by the end of the show, though. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, again, thank you so much for listening and for calling in. I really, really appreciate it. So, Again, yes, thank you thank so much you. for listening and for calling. Have a blessed day. Really, really thank you now. Okay, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko, and this Thanks is now. the last over-the-air broadcast okay, of the show. It's show 681, 13 years, and 13 is my lucky number. Graduated from dental school on a Friday the 13th, and, uh, and I thought it would be a good number. way of saying, you know what, this is good. We, we're going to wrap, hopefully, on an upswing and go out on a positive note. It's rather waiting for the station to cancel me, right? But anyway, I want to read a note that somebody sent me over Facebook. I think it was from the owner, and it says, you're going to be missed on the radio after today. Thank you for 13 years of the most interesting stories and facts on dentistry. That's awesome. This, that, and let me hear that. Be honest, it's the only reason I've done the show because I feel like I'm making a prince and that. Be honest, it's the only reason I've done the show. out sometimes a very difficult topic, pick, 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 because there are different opinions, different ways of doing things out there, and it can be very, very, very interesting. I mean, we like to joke that if you were to have. I don't know, I mean, we like you know, to joke two dentists or three have, dentists look uh, at a patient I don't know, and, and know, give their dentists, treatment plan, what would they do for this patient? You'd probably have about 13 different plans, you know, with only three dentists. You'd probably have about 13 so, different plans, you um, know. But there is dentists. only one true right so, and one true wrong. Um, you know, there are different ways of approaching the same thing. But you can't. So, for example, if the tooth is savable, uh, it should be saved. Um, uh, granted, so you can example, always extract it and place an savable, implant or put a partial or denture. But to me, uh, if the tooth is savable, it should be saved. That's when I say the right answer. I might disagree with the dentist down the street who might say, ah, I don't think that tooth is savable. I'm going to pull it out. Sometimes I think it's just easier for them to pull because it's definitely hard work sometimes to save these teeth, it's just easier but uh, if you ever get a chance or you're presented with an option and one of them is saving your teeth, but, uh, saving you your tooth, please save it because you'll be uh, much better teeth, off for it. Okay, it now, I thought it would be fun, and we are we are about two minutes before we have to go okay, to our next now, break, I but I thought it would be fun to kind of talk about some of the neat topics we have covered. I can't remember them all for sure, but some of the neat topics that we've covered in the last 13 years. One of my favorites is Tom Romer, the truck stop dentist. He practices dentistry in the Iowa 80 truck stop. It's the largest truck stop in the nation. It's his only practice. And he does, you know, you don't really make appointments. He just shows up each day and waits to see what happens. It was kind of neat. And I thought it was kind of interesting that his last name was Romer for the people that roam the nation. <laughs> Who knows if that had anything to do with his choice. Uh, one of my other uh, favorite uh, topics we covered was um, a story called An Eye for a Tooth. Kay Thornton. story who had become blind, wasn't blind by birth, but became that way, and had been blind for nine years by the time Dr. Perez, an ophthalmologic surgeon, and Dr. Yo Sawatori, an oral surgeon, managed to restore her eyesight by using a cuspid tooth. Isn't that cool? She could see again because of the use of a tooth. Um, she could see again because of the let's see, we got one. Well, yeah, you know what? We'll do one. We'll do a couple more. Let's there was see, another yeah, gentleman well, who was working yeah, on growing, and I can't remember his name. <coughs> and by the way, I purposely decided, uh, as it being with it being the last show, I wasn't going to spend way, hours doing a bunch of research. Decided, I didn't remember uh, it. It wasn't going to happen. Being the last show, I <laughs> so I apologize a little bit because I don't remember this gentleman's name who's doing this research. I should have looked it up. I just didn't. But anyway, he's going to he's working on growing teeth from stem cells. But anyway, and he's grown them in the lab where he but he takes like a mold, the shape of a molar, and he lined it with these stem cells and he was able to grow uh, enamel 
and he lined it with these stem cells. Uh, it's not been done in the mouth. It's hard to say if it will ever be done in the mouth, but uh, it's really neat that these people are working on this sort of thing in the background and while I sleep. You know, I get the credit for a lot of the research uh, the that's been done by people toiling away in these laboratories, the just like um, the people that people were toiling in these laboratories are the reason we have the coronavirus vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine. If it weren't for them, we'd still be up a creek. Really, really would. My son is a researcher. He's a uh, microbiologist down in University of Georgia in Athens. And so he's one of them. And I want to thank all of the scientists out there, all of the people that do that research, the nameless, faceless folks. Although as far as names go, you're going to probably see like the people of the person of the year is going to be the husband and wife team in Germany that first figured out how to develop this vaccine using messenger RNA that they'd been working on for about 10 years and just just about had it perfected before COVID-19 hit. And then we're just so lucky that them and Merck got together. Uh, Not so Merck, what am I saying? That, uh, it's uh, Pfizer. <coughs> That's right, together. Merck was in the news because they might be uh, stopping their trials uh, because um, <coughs> That's right. Merck I think they feel like they might be, they might be too far behind the eight ball, uh, behind the curve, like and that they're, they're, I think theirs was only going to be about 50% effective or something. And that they're, I think so anyway, yeah, I want to, I really want to thank so anyway, um, yeah, uh, uh, the researchers. Really think, um, and man, if I could have had them all on and uh, uh, listed the their names for you, I would yeah, have. Man, if I could have had them all okay, on. Okay, I think and, we're going to go to a break. I have more to talk about as far as past shows. Okay, You're listening to the reasons we smile with Dr. Kavitko, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am. Die just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a faithful cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because... You're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Okay, we're back. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode okay, 681, Kavitko, and it's the last the over the air episode. episode. So we're kind of reminiscing, and a, little and and so reminiscing a little bit and thanking everybody for tuning in and for listening and putting up with me for 13 years. I consider it lucky 13 because I graduated from dental school on the 13th of Friday. And Friday the 13th. So I mentioned how my kids, my age, kids' ages, and, uh, and I said how my, none of my grandchildren so were alive back then, kids, but I age, realized I didn't tell you how many grandchildren I have. So I have an almost 11-year-old grandson. I have an almost 8-year-old grandson. I have an almost 5-year-old granddaughter. And maybe 3-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter. And then my daughter's husband had some children before they got married. And so we have 18-year-old granddaughter, step-granddaughter. We have... Let me think. Uh, uh, the other one would be 16-year-old uh, grand uh, step-grandson, and the other one would be 13, uh, 13 or almost 14-year-old grandson, step-grandson. How about that? That's pretty cool, right? Or almost 14 and uh, and so, <clears throat> yeah, it's just really neat when you realize how much time how time flies. And so, and, um, yeah, it's just really neat what when you can change, how right? Because we just don't really know flies. what's around the corner. And, um, and I know that people are change, always right? fearful of what they don't know or what they can't see. And I know that people and, um, are always fearful of what they don't know And that's the same thing when it comes to dentistry, by the way. And people have this unnatural fear of dentistry. And I believe it's because it's the unknown. They don't know what we're going to find. They don't know what it's going to feel like when we go to fix it. 
And of course, I spent my career trying to let people know that it would be comfortable. We're going to be kind. We're still going to be kind. We're going to make sure that you don't feel anything. If you do, we'll give you extra numbing. There, I mean, if we have to switch to IV sedation, that's what we do because we don't want anybody leaving the office with an unpleasant experience. And you know, I take that to heart. It's a very, I'm very, very serious about that. And you know, I take that to heart. It's so anyway. Okay, a couple of the other stories that we covered. There's this gentleman, and so he anyway, was in okay, England. So when I interviewed him, he was covered. in London. There's this gentleman, and he was and, in um, England. So when I interviewed he him, he developed or rather London. discovered a strain of Streptococcus and, um, mutans he that doesn't cause tooth decay. A By the way, your mouth, the primary uh, uh, flora, if you will, of bacteria in your mouth is Streptococcus mutans. Streptococcus mutans. There's also another one called Bacillus. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of a brain guess, right? <laughs> but anyway, so he figured this out, and he thought, you know, if he could popular, uh, anyway, if he so could uh, he populate the mouth with this strain of strep mutans rather than the one that we normally find, people wouldn't get cavities. Isn't that cool? So he's working on that, and uh, with any luck, he'll come up with this material. It'll be a paste to rub it on kids' teeth when they first develop or come into their mouth, and tooth decay could be a thing of the past if he's correct. Now. Um, dentistry is an occupation that's been trying to put ourselves out of business now, forever. Um, dentistry uh, is an occupation we haven't been successful yet, but we are trying. Unlike a lot of other professions, we are actually trying to put ourselves out of business. It's just not happened yet. Who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe we'll all be like on the Star Trek where... Uh, who knows? Maybe it uh, will. Might we'll mention, like nobody might notice that nobody Trek ever had a cavity, uh, right? Nobody ever had a toothache <laughs> on Star Trek. They had other ailments, and they'd have that little thing where they would just, you know, shine on them, and they would be healthy. They had other ailments, and they'd have that little thing where they would make them better, but uh, shine on them, and they not would be healthy. Now, I got to interview a couple better, but, uh, astronauts, not dentistry. one that had been on the Columbia, now, one that had been on the Challenger, and that's astronauts. really cool. I mean, that was really cool. Some people alive today I mean, have never really heard cool. of the Columbia and the Challenger, um, which is kind of sad. Uh, in a way. Some people alive today but have never heard of it. It is what it is, right? <laughs> so, kind of sad in a way. Anyway, yeah. I mean, there were many, many, many other topics. I had some awesome guests like Clark Kellogg, Keith Carlos, Carly Red, the dean of the College of Dentistry, congressman from Arizona, Dr. Paul Gozar. Just a lot of people I got to meet and a lot of information I got to glean. And so I'm much better for having done the show. And I really want to thank everybody for allowing me to come into your Either your home or your car or wherever you listen to your radio. I don't really know. And I also want to thank uh, the folks here at Sunny 95 for putting up with me and for uh, allowing me to do this, giving me the airwaves, even on days when we were celebrating the anniversary of 9-11. Uh, um, they could have said, uh, no, Dr. Pick, we want to run a tribute to 9-11. You don't get to do your show today, but they didn't. They, they gave me that responsibility, and I took it seriously and did so. So we're almost out of time. And so I'm going to tell you uh, again, <laughs> don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And so it I'm is Dr. Uh, Kivitko. Again, don't and visit the Office Twitter. Facebook page and like and us. It's Dr. Dr. Kivitko and Associates. And remember, and that's probably where you're going to find the uh, like new Dr. versions of the show as we do them. That'll be one place. The, uh, Another you'll find it is thereasonswesmile.com because every episode we've ever done, including the video, is there. And there'll be new ones. It just won't be every Sunday morning going through six feet of snow to get there. By the way, I like winter. I don't really mind that that much. Oh, and just a little side note. I'm going to get my I'm second really vaccine that, uh, Tuesday, that and I'm oh, very, uh, very excited about that. If you are on the fence about getting vaccinated, please get vaccinated. You'll be fine. It's safe. It really is. I'm telling you, the scientists knew what they were doing. You'll be fine. It's so normally at this time, I would say, be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. But I'm not going to say that this week. Because if you do, I won't be here. I'm not saying don't ever tune in to Sunny. I'm just saying I won't be here every week at 830. I'm not saying don't ever tune in to Sunny. But what I'm going to say is thanks for being a loyal listener for all these years. So, Check out future episodes of The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko on Facebook, YouTube, and TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And why not consider becoming a dental patient by calling 614-262-9588. And for the last time, I'm going to say goodbye. And for the last time, I'm going to say goodbye.
If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking. Or send an email to speaking at the reasons we smile.com.